Hi, I'm Dirk. I'm Cristina Botta. I'm Shuri Summers. And, And I, I work, work at, at Next, Next Generation, Generation Triggers. Triggers. So what are we doing? Here at CMS with the Next Generation Triggers project, we're working on improving the trigger system of the CMS experiment. As you may know, the LHC collides protons at a very high energy and a very high rate of 40 million collisions per second. And as a result, the experiment constantly generates a vast amount of data. Since we cannot store all of that information, we have a trigger system to do the first stage of processing of the data. It decides in 10 microseconds which events are interesting enough to keep for further analysis. To work on these improvements, we have many professionals here at the CMS experiment and next generation triggers. In our team specifically, we're working on improving the selections that the trigger system makes using machine learning. When the trigger system decides not to keep an event, it can never be used in the further analysis. So in our team, we're working to make sure that this system will select the most useful events from the vast sea of background. Data. And why are we doing it? So we are currently preparing for the high luminosity LAC run, which will start in 2029. And the CMS subdetectors are being upgraded with finer timing and spatial granularity in order to reconstruct much more complex collision events. This subdetector will be sending much more data to the trigger system for the real-time event selection. For you to understand how much this data is big, we are talking about an input data rate that is more or less one-tenth of the global internet traffic. So we really want to use fast machine learning algorithms in order to be able to process this data flow and select much more efficiently the signal processes that we want to separate from this huge amount of background events. So the ultimate goal is for us to try to expand the trigger acceptance of the current system in order to potentially unveil this new physics phenomena that might be hiding under this huge amount of background events that the current trigger system are rejecting. So let's now see how we are doing that. Here at CMS, we're developing AI technologies that can run on specialized hardware like field programmable gate arrays, aka FPGA, to make incredibly fast decisions up to 40 million times per second. This technology helps us identify in real time subatomic particles as they emerge from the high energy collisions from the Large Hadron Collider. These particles can be electrons, muons, or even jets. By recognizing these objects instantly, scientists can reconstruct what happened during each collision and uncover new insights about the fundamental forces of nature. Our team focuses on optimizing AI models in order to accurately identify these physics signatures while adapting to the detector's environment. This ensures that the AI remains efficient over time. As a result, by reducing background noise and improving event selection, the detector can then capture the most important collisions. The kind that could eventually, who knows, might lead to important discoveries in physics. So, stay tuned. <laughs>